embedding videos in D2L. While D2L is not the appropriate place to store your videos or other large files, you can host your video on an appropriate multimedia storage platform and then embed that video in several different locations throughout your D2L course. Embedding a video simply means that the actual video resides elsewhere, but you and your students can view the video from within the learning environment. This effect is made possible by adding what is called embed code into your D2L site. Embedding is different than linking in that linking a video would force you and your students to watch the video elsewhere outside of your D2L course. First, you will need to create a video yourself or work with the ETSU services available to you as an instructor in order to create your video. Next, you'll need to decide where to host that video. Note that it is not recommended to upload a video or other large multimedia file directly into D2L. There are a couple of options available to you here at ETSU for multimedia and large file storage. You can contact Digital Media Services for assistance with recording, production, and hosting of course-related videos on the official ETSU YouTube channel. You can contact Digital Media Services for assistance with hosting your course-related videos on a separate ETSU-supported media server. You can create and host your own course-related videos on a personal YouTube channel using your ETSU credentials. And then finally, you can create and host your course-related videos on a different multi multimedia server platform of your choice. A link to the digital media services offered here at ETSU can be found in this video's description. In this video, I will be walking through the workflow for embedding a YouTube video. I will be using a video from the ETSU D2L resource channel. Note that this workflow is the same for both ETSU and personal YouTube channels. On your screen, I've displayed several examples of embedded videos within a D2L course. In my first example, I've embedded a video inside of a news item. You can embed a video in a news item to make short course announcements, but note that you should never place any required course materials, readings, lectures, or anything like that inside of the news tool. All of those required course materials should live in the content tool. For the second example, I've embedded a video in a module's description in the content tool. You can see the videos for creating a module and creating a module description for more information about those workflows. In my third example, I've embedded a video as part of a content topic. Now this is the most commonly used. You can see the video for creating a file in D2L for more information about that workflow. In my fourth example, I've embedded a video within a D2L quiz. You can embed a video in D2L any time that you are presented with the HTML editor. In this video, I'll be embedding a video inside of a content topic, but note that the workflow for embedding a video is the exact same regardless of the tool or location within D2L. To begin, I will open the content tool of my course by clicking the content link located in the default course nav bar. I'll click the module's name where my content topic will live, and then I'll begin creating a file by selecting Create a File from the drop-down menu of the blue New button. Once my page displays, I'll enter a title, and then optionally I can select an HTML template to further customize the look of my topic. In a separate tab or window, I'm going to navigate to YouTube and then browse to find the video that I would like to embed. Once I've located the video, I'll click on its title to view it, and then under that video lives a toolbar with the following options add to, share, or move. I'll click the share option here and a new section will display below and within this section I will click the embed option. I'll then copy the line of code that is highlighted in blue. Once I've copied the code I can return back to my D2L site and continue this workflow. I'll click down in the body of my topic and place my cursor in the exact location where I want my video to appear. From the HTML toolbar, click the Insert Stuff button, and this button is going to be located on the far left-hand side of the menu. I'll select Enter Embed Code, and then I'll paste the embed code into the white box displayed on my screen. After I've pasted the code, I will click Next, and a preview of my video will display. I need to confirm that this is in fact the exact video that I would like to embed, and then once I've confirmed that, click the Insert button. The video is now inserted into my content topic and I can continue creating content within this file and then once I'm finished I'll click either save as draft or published to complete the workflow. 
Keep in mind that you can perform these actions anytime you are presented with this HTML editor.